to BYU Sports Nation live in Studio B. Joining us now, our second guest of the day. She's about to rep Team USA on the volleyball mm-hmm. circuit. Thanks but for your service. She's been repping the Y for a long time and at a high level. Heather Knighting of BYU Women's Volleyball right. joins us in Studio B. Heather, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. It's I'm been good. a minute. During yeah, the season? It's been a while. Yeah. Which season last year, right? <laughs> it felt like there were, there were two, right? In there were, the, there were the two. Year. Okay, first things first. We'll get to the Team USA stuff in just a moment, but the women's volleyball schedule was recently released. Mm-hmm. It yeah. feels loaded yeah. with big-name opponents. What do you think of the overall schedule with the likes of Pitt at home, at Georgia Tech on the schedule, among others? Yeah, yeah we are super excited just to play these really good teams that did super well last season and – Going into this season, we'll just get some more competition and playing Pitt at home. We played them last year preseason, and we get to play them here too. And they're a super good team. And also some others we haven't seen before, at least I haven't seen while being here at BYU. And I think it'll get us really ready for the the conference season. It's going to be awesome. Like, uh, you know, huge, huge names on this schedule. Uh, You know, Ohio State and Utah and Georgia Tech and Duke. Okay, let's talk about Pitt. This was the only regular season loss. This was where the season ended. You would have met them in the Elite Eight, right? That's a, bit, that's a big game. To have them at home, it's going to be pretty cool. It almost reminds me of 2018 Stanford, where it's like you're bringing in this super legit team. Mm-hmm. The Smithfield House is going to be rocking. Yeah. That's going to be a fun one. Yeah. I'm super excited to play them. It was so fun at their house, and I think them coming here will show them some more competition and see what they're made of, see what we're made of, and yeah. How will this team? Oh, sorry, go ahead, Jen. Heather's hanging out with the uh, pit head coach right now. By the way, they're yeah, she coaching is. together. On oh, that same she's team. getting the inside track. Okay, <laughs> how will this team be different than the BYU team last year? Different and perhaps better. Yeah, so we had a lot of different seniors leave us last year, and this spring we had to work through a lot, see what our roles were, and see who was going to play, who was going to work hard. And I think we had a really good off season starting January and we're all in and we're all working hard and I'm super excited just to see what we're made of and see um, who's going to stand out this year. Where do you feel like you improve the most? Yeah, I think we are just more united. We're super positive and I think just our mental strength has grown a lot and just we have a growth mindset that's wanting to win and wanting to work hard together. Anything is possible with you and Whitney Bauer and Aaron Anderson. <laughs> I like it's exciting to see as we just saw Whitney go on two and just crush it, right? Yeah. Um, it, what what's it like in this situation knowing? Okay, last year was a really special group, mm-hmm. and okay, you got to move on. And yeah. You got emotionally. It sounds like you already have where it's like, all right, this is our new group. We got to figure it out. Yeah. Kenzie Kerber was incredible. Mm-hmm. Kenzie Eschenberg is an all timer, right? How do you, how do you move on from that and figure out? Okay, okay, you're you're the person in this space, but you don't have to be that person. You be you. Right. Yeah, and I think that's what we kind of had to figure out, that we don't have to fill what their roles were, but we were recruited, we were brought here for our specific strengths and what we have, and so letting that come out and seeing how it works together um, is really cool and really special, and I think we'll really find that out in our preseason and into conference. And do you take confidence from the fact that, I mean, you look at the last decade of BYU women's volleyball, it's like, you guys go to the Sweet 16, yeah. Nine out of eight out of the last nine years. Like, kind of the status You quo. guys reload. Like, you right. figure it out, right? Yeah. I think, yeah, our coaches do a really good job of that, of setting the standard, and we have our values and our culture of what we want, and I think we're, we all buy into it, which is pretty special. You are now essentially two years off of your mission. How long did it take you to get back in the full swing of things, no pun intended, full health, and, and where you were feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm back to where I was with volleyball? Yeah, so I came back, and I kind of just started right back into volleyball, and it was definitely weird, but being here before and coming back, it felt really familiar. I had the same coaches, same setter, and um, most of my same teammates, and I think they just put a lot of trust and faith in me that I could fulfill my role and just do my best, and I think that brought me confidence to do my best. I hear some players talk about the mission, like, making me too nice, Almost so like like you're, you're almost, a really nice like, person. Like yeah. lose the like, edge. Like is the edge back now, Heather? Yes, it took it took a little <laughs> bit, but I think once we started playing games, uh, the, that competitiveness came back, and I thought it wouldn't, but it did. I just have it in me. So, did I you compete happy. on your mission in a certain way? Like like could you satisfy <laughs> that sort of itch in a different way, or was it like 
uh, quelled for like the 18 months. I don't know. Maybe there were some like P day activities. We'd play sports, but that's about it. Me and my companion just would have fun. And like me versus scripture stuff. <laughs> I'm going to dominate this. It's going to be a... okay. So remind us, did you come back? You came back the summer uh, before the season last year, right? Yes. Is that right? And and you'd have a ton of time to get back into it. And in fact, at times Heather was not letting you go to serve receive, right? Where it was right. like physically you need to to take it easy to get back, but you were like, I wanna go, I wanna go. Yeah. That what was that process like of you're still playing in the matches, you guys have this unbelievable year where you win like a million thirty games or whatever, you only lose one in the regular season. But you're like itching to to play, but your butt, Heather's trying to hold you back so you don't get hurt, right? Right, yeah. So I would, we had double days, but I'd probably just do one of the practices every day. And the first few games, I'd only play a few sets, and then she'd pull me out. But um, I was grateful for it at the same time just to kind of get back into it and um, just take it one step at a time, and she helped me with that. And it was weird, too, because the team had played in the spring due to COVID. Right. And so yeah. she's managing, it was just a weird deal. But Hey, Talon's back and Kennedy's back, which you would not have been able to play with them right. without uh, the COVID extra year. So it was yeah. really, it was a special year in that regard, too. Yeah. Have you ever been angry in your life? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably on the court a few times, <laughs> but yes, yeah, it happens. Playing sure. Utah, San Diego. Yes, definitely yeah. those teams. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, okay, t- <laughs> tell us about uh, playing with the United States yeah. uh, Women's Collegiate National Team. With Aaron Livingston. This will be fun training uh, coming up here in a couple weeks. Yeah, me and Aaron are going on the 19th to go train in Anaheim with USA and different girls in college. And it'll be just a super cool experience. I'm glad she's coming with me. And just to learn from um, the best of the best and other good good college girls out there yeah. and um, just gain those relationships too, I think will be really cool. Yeah, you're, you're not new to this. So, I mean. <laughs> you played uh, on this team before. Yeah. Four? Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you've In, done this before. You went to was it Japan? Japan. Yeah, yeah. There's mm-hmm. one Kenzie Kerber on that trip. Yeah. Well, well listen. Yeah. Show Aaron the ropes, okay? <laughs> like Aaron, this is where oh, we Aaron's take got care of. Aaron's yeah, got it. Exactly. Congratulations on everything. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 What a run. We're uh, to say the least. We're very excited about what's going to happen with BYU women's volleyball. Two, yeah. Two months and a week or two, and then we're going. Let's yeah. Go. We're super Let's excited. Go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Heather. Thank you. Okay. Coming.